Welcome back to Rescue Mission Day 33. Last episode, we fought two smoky progs at once. Or, not exactly at once, but subsequent to each other. This time, I am going to refresh my memory. And not by talking to Corgwin, by talking to Jin, who has a womb. Only true Xenoblade fla fans will understand what I mean. I don't know why I'm being this OCD about this and resetting so much. I just feel like I need the practice, and this is the only place I'm going to get it. Base. You're going to press the button, and then immediately start digging. Okay, we have everybody. Oh, this is this is the way. This I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You guys get that? One two three. One two. One two three. I should have done that after, but it's fine. One, two, three, four, five. Sw swarm. Pluck and switch. Have everybody. Swarm the nectar. Swarm the other nectar. Whistle those. Uh, where are my blue, my ice? There we go. Freeze. I have a bunch of purples too. This is the this is the run. Okay, Ochi, you get that. Boom. You have that. I don't have any ice on me at the moment, but that's fine. Um, I actually don't need to deal with that gate at at all. Yeah, I don't. Um, Ochi will get those ice Pikmin soon enough. For now, I'm gonna, just going to start on this. Uh, throw. This isn't the best order. but it's working. Okay, I need my two purples. Honestly, I need this purple. <laughs> oh, yes, exactly 50. Yes. The reason why... <laughs> so I can move my base. Let me move my base. Okay. One, two. Got it. One, two. You do that. That. Let's get 
that. Okay's done. That went to five. Get this done as quickly as possible. So I can whistle back. I'm probably not gonna whistle back my ice. Oh, she'll take care of the gold. We didn't need to destroy the gate. Get that. Pikmin, you get on the gold and legit. I'm gonna have Ochi do it too. Please carry that faster. And we're done. We are we are done. Yep, that's it. Have them help carry this this great faster and we we did it. I'd, I'm tempted to restart again just because I think I can do it even faster than that. But I crushed it. Unless... No. Yeah, I crushed it. A minute 16 left. Cool. If I'm not doing anything, I'm doing something wrong. That's the lesson learned. You know what, I can, I can use these to warm up. I like that idea. And that's the story of how I possibly glitched the game. Come back tomorrow, next recording session, to see if it actually happened. So, um, <laughs> this is a little bit weird, but I have decided to do something really strange with this Let's Play. And I'm recording one of Olimar's side stories, which you're not going to know what they are until, until the end of this game. Which is kind of neat, because something exciting, two exciting, super exciting things just happened, and I'm not going to talk about them. I'm really, <laughs> you're just going to have to wait. Uh, I, I've never done that with a Let's Play before. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, can I upgrade anything? Hi, you exist. I'm super tough. Hello, Jeffrey. Is it a good morning? You seem very excited. Are you a morning person? I hate morning people. I am... Not a night owl, I'm not a morning person, I'm not anything. That's why I hate all people. Would you like to go to a place that you've never gone to before? I bet you would, you blonde haired go getter, you. The giant's hearth. For now, we need to focus on our search efforts on finding the veterinarian, Nelly. It, it, it'd be nice if she were in this area, but she's probably not, which means there's another area, which makes you... Why are you more excited? I I think I might hate you today. <laughs> Giant's Hearth. Let's go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Great start. Bull bear. There's a teepee. And... Oh, it's a camp... Is it... This, this is a campground. And we have... Okay. The, the cinder cones are, are on the ground level, which is... I'm not going to say that surprises me anymore. Again, you'll have to watch. You'll have to wait till the end of the Let's Play to see uh, Olimar's side adventures? What? Huh? Is is that really... And what's he doing with Moss? Do you, do you know that guy? I don't recognize him from the list of castaways. And strangely, your notes have never, ever, ever once, not for a single moment, mentioned you having a friend. Yeah, and, and I... <laughs> they spoke truthfully. <clears throat> it's Louie. He's a co-worker of mine at Hokitate Freight. Also, I I know it's called Hokitate Freight, uh, technically, but I am going to call it Hokitate. Is he trying to rescue that castaway? Oh, could that castaway be... Look at those round ears. It's a copat. Oh, yeah, they do have round ears. 
I've never noticed that. <laughs> they waddle away. <laughs> I don't know. Something about that just kind of screamed thug life for me. Hold on. He's disappeared. Where could he have been? I can't move my eyes upward. Uh, and what's he doing running running around with Moss anyway? Perhaps your employer sent him here to help you, Lamar. Perhaps, though Louie wouldn't have been my top choice, or even a choice at all. Let's follow Louie. We don't want anything to happen to that possibly co pied castaway. Luckily, Ochi's already familiar with Moss's scent. What are you waiting for? Ochi, Jeff! Wander around, gather in treasure, and eventually... Pursue the plot. <laughs> Copy that. You don't need to tell me twice. They really did disappear, didn't they? Okay, so we're here now. It's imperative to get the lay of the land. Ha 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 ha. Uh, I like. Hmm. This is odd music. Very folky. Uh, purples. And rocks. Yeah, no, fine. I, I've been trying to rebel against what the game wants me to do. But I should just do this. I should just do it. Although, hold up. No. I am my own man, and I need to go kill that bull bear. That is more important to me, and then I can- oh, pff, bull bears plural, okay. Okay. They're easy in this game, I keep telling myself that. Kill them. Bull bears over there. Where's the cub? Thought it had a cub. Oh, I got in the blast radius. Die, 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 die. Or the shake radius? Okay. Now. Uh, disband? That is the wrong button. I forgot I changed my... That... Hold on. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Wait, what? Wait, what? Uh, oh, I can only use... The stick when holding my Joy-Con controller in so, uh, solo horizontal grip. So, but I clicked it in. Wait, what is clicking it? Why does clicking it in use spicy spray? You can clearly see that I don't have that set. Okay. I don't understand what just, why? Okay. All right. All right, that's something that just happened. Uh, let's do this right. Let's do this right. Uh, boom, disband. Switch. Get the purples. Go back to base and swap them out. I'm thoroughly confused by it, what ha what just transpired. Uh, we don't have enough for that, but I'll send a couple people. Set a couple Pikmin on it. And we're really looking for these cinder blocks. That's that's the important thing here. Oh wait, there's the plastic. We can just do that. And there's some plastic as well. Yeah, so we can just climb this now. And it looks like there's a, is that a baby fiery bull blacks? That's weird. Okay, put the purples away. Take out the blues since I will need them. Got them. And then go back. Also, I'm dumb. Certainly he's dead, right? I'm not taking a chance. I'm not taking a chance. I've I've seen this go too poorly before. I don't see a health bar coming back online, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. Okay, let's go up this ramp. Hi, bud. I'm kind of liking the vibe of this place. I, I mean, that's one thing that they never... Like, they didn't... They started to move away from, with Pikmin 3, uh, having kind of more imaginative themes, where it's not just seasonal themes anymore. It's like, oh, this one's tropical. This one's uh, a stream. I, I really like that. You can, go, you can go anywhere with this game. 
absolutely anywhere. The sky is the limit. And it's it's really cool to see uh kill you. It's really cool to see them them use their imagination for all the different cool places that you can go. Because really you could go anywhere. You could go anywhere. You could go to um a, a like a gutter, which in one game we do. You can you can go to Come on guys. I think I can get them through. Come on. They just won't keep their flowers for it. Oh, and I have fire over here. That's weird. Oh, and I need to deal with that? What, how do I... How do I do this? I need to get fire through here? And have we even seen fire yet? Um? You know, Ochi, you can just kill him. He is not a problem for you. If only I had a C-stick input. That would be really... You just died. Okay. That's good to know. I did read somewhere... Okay, you're fine, right? Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. You're okay. I did read somewhere that, that Rock Pikmin drown easier, but I always thought that meant that they sink. Oh, wait a minute. Was I supposed to use the bull blacks to light those on fire? I was. Oh, that... That's not good. Oh, no. I ruined it. That was important. Oh, this is not off to a good start. It's not off to a bad, like a, I'm not losing Pikmin left and right, but man, that was a mistake. I guess we'll just kind of canvas this area, see what we find, because we're supposed to be lighting all of these. Uh-oh. Oh, it's you. Hi, you. I haven't fought you in a while. Throw him at the eye and break the eye. Thankfully, I have the right tool for the job. Although, flying Pikmin will also work. You flip over. And then I'll throw blues on top. And rocks a little bit. Just get their first impact. There we go, there we go, there we go. We're making it work. This is like the the giant hermit, craw hermit crawdad. And you can tell, again, my knowledge of the bestiary kind of runs out when you go to Pikmin 3, just because I I don't know that game as well. Pikmin 3 did a really cool thing in the Wii U version specifically, where whenever you locked onto an enemy, it would actually show you what the enemy was, like its name. That was really cool, but it was also part of the really, like, cumbersome lock-on mechanic in that game, and I, I understand why they got rid of it. That was, it was cool. It was cool to get that little bio. I always like it when they find an excuse they find an excuse to show you the names of things in the game. Uh, let's briefly switch. Get all my Pikmin. Maybe... Oh, it looks like there's fire over there. Can I jump on top of that mushroom? While Jeff just chills? There's probably a boss up here. I don't like how empty this is. Switch real quick. Okay, what am I actually doing over here? I guess I can set my Pikmin on this. They're not really doing anything. And by that, I mean set my blue Pikmin on this and my rocks on this. They'll be out of the area, I think. I think. Uh, this is really awkward. Okay, you guys carry this out of the way. Good job. That's all you needed to do. Rock Pikmin, carry that. Blue Pikmin, carry that. And we're just gonna go back to base with Jeff. And switch. And now that I've found the fire, I'm going to avoid this giant, scary, big open area. Uh, light that up. Hmm, you guys can get... You guys can get those. I'll deal with this real quick. And then you, I'm gonna have to relight. So this entire area is just gonna be about fire mechanics. It's the frozen inferno, but as an entire area. That's that's neat. I like that. Uh, maybe this giant open area is fine. They'll push that down. Okay, this is. I can't climb up there, but we have a cave. We have a cave that I can go in. This probably has an enemy in it. Nope. No whammies. Okay. 
We're fine. This area is too big. I don't like this. I don't like that. But if not, then it's it's fine. It's just a psyop for the next area that is too big that actually has a boss in it because that's how that works. And we're going to get all of our plastic and go over... Where's the nearest place for me to light, even? Right there. Cool. We'll light this. And get another one. We can't go there yet. So I, I just need to go around lighting these sconces. I've opened this up now. We have that stealth for the dude. Can't go there. I can light this one, though. All of our dudes. Looks like there's a, a treasure over there, like a sponge. You are not a red Pikmin. Okay, we have these. Uh, where were the other sconces? We lo Did we light that? We did light that one. Oh, we can go over there. That works, that works. And, and in doing so... Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Don't be a Pikmin 2 Pikmin. <laughs> Please. Or Pikmin 1. Pikmin 1 was even worse. That was like the biggest strength of the entire, uh... Okay, sneak through here, sneak through here. Ah! No! No! We were so close. I have to do it again. Man, this area is crazy. A lot of this is just set up. That's the wrong... Oh, okay. Hi. Hi. Sup? Where am I going? Where's where's the base? Uh, I, this way. This is gonna be rough. I have to like, I have to book it. Like, wait a minute. No, I don't. No, I don't. I have. No, I do. I do. I was gonna say I don't have a closer one over here, but this is really the closest one there is. Running! Go! 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 I don't have to wrestle with them this time on the slope, so I think I'll have a lot more time. Moving, moving. I wonder if I could relight him on the bull blacks. We will try that in a moment. That's a good idea for science. Throw! Yeah. Also, I don't know what it is this session with me and doing stuff at the last possible frame. Okay, we're gonna throw this... the cinder pigment at him and see what happens. Yeah, good design! That's not what I meant to do. such good design. Thank you for doing that. Which means I can use them strategically. Good. And we can move to the base. Look at us. Making some serious progress. you love to see it. It's a very, like, burning Pikmin-esque thing. Like, the, the area... I, I love... I think that this is a very underrated setting. This kind of, like... American Timberland Fire Territory setting. That's a tomato, not an onion. Uh, Firewatch has this this kind of vibe, and I, I like it. I I've started actually in like my my personal life, uh, referring to seasons as there being five of them, and I've I've called the fifth season Smoke Cinder uh, Ash. It's it's very distinct. It's when the the uh, sunsets start to turn, or uh, even just the normal days start to become orange and and chock full of smoke, which is sad, yes, but I kind of I kind of like them. <laughs> I hate that I'm saying that, but they, they're kind of neat in like a weird nostalgic way. They're it's like it's sad in the way that winter is sad, and it's kind of cool. I don't, I don't know, like, yeah, yeah, climate change is happening, and it's an awful thing we caused it. What? What? <laughs> Do you eat anybody? You're a female sheer grub. Okay. I didn't really want to try. I guess they do try to eat Pikmin in, in all the games. They just don't have the mouths for it. I'm almost tempted to throw one to the a lamb to the slaughter here. I we know they have malicious intent. Looks like they just try to crush Pikmin, and um, they they do. Okay, I'm fine losing Pikmin to to science there. Uh, there's another. I do have enough. 
I have multiple options here. Uh, let's go into this cave. It's right close to home. Uh, and we can throw Pikmin at that, too. We're just opening everything. I have enough Pikmin for that. And then I'm going to start building on this. And I'm wondering if there's going to be another boss. Dandori Cave, too? We're just opening everything up. Okay, you guys, you guys do that really quick. Just go, go, go. Super fast, super fast, super fast. Super fly, bonafide, bonafide wise guy. Uh, that's not the right thing. That's not the right thing. Okay, I, something is seriously messed up with my settings. Shortcut. I'm pressing... <laughs> I know what it is. I know what it is. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Okay, so if any of you were wondering why when I pressed the, the left stick, it used the, what was down on the D-pad, let's go to my custom controls real quick and show you why. Oh, I'm dumb. It didn't notify me, which is weird. Change button mapping. I have multiple button, map, button maps for my Pro Controller. One of them is my Xenoblade map, which allows you to switch arts with the L and R buttons, or ZR and ZL, which makes playing the game much easier. You can move and switch arts very, without having to claw. One of them is my Tears of the Kingdom, with YSB. And then this one is called Gen Genki Damata, which is Spirit Bomb. And it switches the D-pad and left stick click. And the reason why is so that you can move while charging a Booyah Bomb for your team in Splatoon, and I was playing Splatoon yesterday. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. So if I go into and actually look at my shortcut settings, this is correct, this is switch. Left stick I can't use apparently? I mean, we'll, we'll try it. No, we can. It's actually just wrong. Shortcut settings, let's fix this. Make this what it should have been, which is switch. There we go. Wow. Okay. What was I doing? <laughs> this recording session, I I've been having a lot of fun recording recently. You guys are almost done. Um, we'll break this while we're at it. Hopefully not run into a boss. Just break this for tomorrow. There's now a bull bear that can get into my base. Whatever. Okay, you guys get the plastic, bring it back, and then then we will go inside this cave. Literally waiting on one Pikmin. Let me in. Let me up. Sick. What is this cave? In the remains of a campfire. Come on, throw. Go, 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 go. Close enough. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't like that. That is the worst thing. Oh, gracious me. <laughs> Ultimate testing range. I filled my belly with all kinds of snacks. The strongest creatures are the tastiest. Except that ultimate weapon-like one. It was barely edible. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Let's go. Um, what Pikmin do they want? What kind of Pikmin? Ah! White and flying! You know, the one I have eight of. And then it substitutes blue for some reason? Um, I don't know about that. I can select any Pikmin type, right? At this point, because I only have two of the ones they're suggesting. This is gonna be so- this is gonna be weird. This is gonna be Pikmin at its absolute weird- weirdest. If you are wondering why I only have eight white Pikmin, well, to start things off, I drowned half of them <laughs> as soon as I got them. Uh, and then the other 20 I lost, you know, in celebration <laughs> when I- I got a Lamar. <laughs> <laughs>